Hola, mi gente. Ms. Malcolm Hughes here. Where is Mariah Carey when you need her? It's time. Yes, it is time. We are here to discuss what I received in an email this morning announcing the release of the third book in the Winter Santiago series. As you all know, book number one, The Code is Winter Ever, the one we all know and love and started us on this journey. Book number two, Life After Death which we all didn't feel strongly about, okay? We all were a little disappointed, but we'll talk more about that. And now we have what will be book number three, Love After Midnight. I'm so excited. Like, uh, this made me so excited. I was like jumping up and down when I got the email. But I came because I want to read the description to you all and let's talk about it. All right. Sister Soldier returns to her beloved character, Winter Santiago, in the captivating and heart-pounding sequel to the instant number one New York Times bestseller, Life After Death. After suffering a horrifying yet soul-stirring death experience, worldwide top bitch Winter Santiago of The Coldest Winter Ever is alive and facing a dilemma that every living person faces. How to respond to the fear of God, awareness of heaven and hell, while pursuing and satisfying deep desires for sex, fun, love, money, revenge, and fame. In her new novel, Love After Midnight, Sister Soja delivers a powerful hip hop hood style global romantic comedy. That is our description. I super hate this line, <laughs> but we're not gonna go, wait, what a powerful hip hop hood style global romantic comedy. Anyway. We're going to stick with excitement because I'm excited. So <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to this book coming out. The release date is October 1st, 2024. You can pre-order it. Let's all get ready. I'm going to release a predictions video closer to the release date, but I have so many thoughts. The first one being just looking at this cover. Do you all agree or is it just me? Does it look like she's wearing a hijab? I feel as if she's wearing a hijab and she's covered. So I'm predicting that Winter is still practicing Islam and she is dealing with the tug and pull of her past life and then the life that she's trying to live. I think that will have a lot to do with it. But again, I will talk about that more in my predictions video. I really just wanted to come on here and share this with you all. I know you all love the coldest winter ever and Winter Santiago as much as I do. I do have thoughts about the title, Love After Midnight, but again, that will come in the predictions video. But as for now, just again, wanted to share my excitement to get you all excited, get your thoughts. What do you think will happen in the next book? Are you all looking forward to this one? I know we had our frustrations and our disappointments with Life After Death. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I posted the video, um, so I had very strong feelings about it, even though I really understood where she was trying to go, but she did that, right? She gave us that experience of Winter really being within two realms between life and death and just everything she learned and everyone she got to see and visit and get truths. So I'm really excited to be on the other side of that, to have her father out of jail, to just know everything she knows, to have her practice in Islam. For someone who's lived the life that Winter has lived, I'm very interested to see how that will all play out with her actually trying to live it now. I'm actually really looking forward to that and to see the like challenges and the internal struggle they're in. So Again, I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely going to read it. Let me know if y'all are going to read it. Let me know your thoughts and predictions. How are y'all just feeling in general? Are y'all as excited as I am? I hope so. Um, it's going to be a journey. I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm excited to know how y'all are feeling. Are y'all equally as excited as me? I really do hope so, because this is going to be a time. So that is it for me today, y'all. As always, I am Ms. Malcolm Hughes, a one who believes that books are sometimes better than people. And until the next one, please remember to give time time, to be kind to each other, and to have the very best day of your life on purpose. Peace. Adios. Ciao.